station on space to ground. Next stop, planet Earth. Welcome to space to ground. I'm Dan Hewitt. Just over one month after arriving at the station, it was time for SpaceX's eighth Dragon to return. After packing over 3,700 pounds of cargo into the capsule, the crew said farewell to Dragon on Wednesday. British astronaut Tim Peake sent the command for the station's robotic arm to release the cargo craft, which then flew away to set up for re-entry. Dragon splashed down in the Pacific Ocean to the southwest of California, where teams from SpaceX were ready to pluck it out of the water and begin unloading the cargo on board. The one-year mission may have ended in March, but a lot of the science samples are just now making their way to Earth. More than 1,000 samples of blood, urine, saliva, and more from Scott Kelly's 340 Days in Space splashed down with the cargo inside Dragon this week. Supporting different studies like fluid shifts, microbiome, the twin study, and more, these samples are now on their way to researchers around the country for analysis. Results from the year-long mission will provide new knowledge about how the human body adapts over a long time in space, critical for preparing the first trips to Mars. This week, Stephen asked if we could show off views of stars from the station's cupola. No problem, Stephen. Over the past few years, astronauts have taken a number of stunning sequences of stars and the Milky Way while orbiting the dark side of the Earth. From the windowed vantage point of the cupola, they're treated to some of the best light shows in the galaxy. You can see these videos and a whole lot more by heading over to the home of astronaut photography at eol.jsc.nasa.gov. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.